Hey, I just wanted to make this little video to show you the houses that I designed for the sixes. Hopefully it'll turn out right. And uh, you get to see a flyby of each one of our houses as and where they are in relation to one another. So here goes. Let me try this. Okay. So the video starts overview of Kay's house. This is Kay's house coming up. Red trees. She's got a pool and got a nice view. And her next door neighbor is Tammy with her Spanish style villa. And then right across the street is uh, Tracy's Japanese inspired house. Um, they, Tammy lives on Tres Hermanas Court, which means three sisters. And actually the area that they live in is called uh, Mont Trois Sur, Three Sisters Mountain. So you get a nice overview of the, the Tracy's backyard, Tammy's front yard with her Teslas. She has two Teslas. Kay has a Tesla and a Jag. And Tracy has a Tesla. Now you get to see the, the lake behind their house, the mountain lake. And as we leave the area, we're going to do a quick flyby through the trees. And the next house we're going to come up on is Brent's house. Oh, uh, Brent lives in the uh, borough of Interlaken. And notice I said borough and not city because each one of these are boroughs that are connected. So Brent lives in Interlaken and he lives on one of the islands here. And you can see Brent's uh, Spanish style villa. Gave him a Spanish style villa. You can see he lives in the middle of town. So he has quick access to all the business and things because he likes to work. So I put him near all the businesses and everything. But still, it's a quiet, secluded street um, right along a canal. And as the camera turns, you'll be able to see a little bit about his neighborhood. And he's got the only Spanish style house in the neighborhood. Other houses are kind of European inspired, what they call cube houses. And then we're going to do a quick flyover. We're going to zoom up, give you a better idea of what the island looks like. Um, Interlaken is a series of connected islands. They're connected by canals. And when, as we fly through the cultural districts, you see the museums and the opera house and things like that. And then we fly over the lake. And as we fly over the lake, we'll be entering Trastevere, which is the capital of borough. And this is where Rhonda lives. And Rhonda lives in a modern house perched on a hill. She lives in a less busy area than Brent does, but still she lives in an area close to businesses and things like that. And she lives on a, on a, along a cliff's edge between two lakes, actually between three lakes. So three lakes come together right in this area. And Rhonda has a modern style house. Now, I, um, I give everybody in the family Teslas. So I'm, I'm trying to encourage to be environmental friendly. <laughs> Rhonda lives near the aquatic center. And you can see she's got a pretty sizable backyard back there. Sloping down to the aquatic center. And as we zoom up in a way, you can get a better area, a better idea of what Trastevere looks like. It's just the southern end of it. Uh, the northern end of the, the borough has the Capitol building and all that. You can see it becoming more uh, busy as, you, as we fly away from it. And then we're flying over to uh, another borough called Stresa, and that's where I live. And Stresa is one of the smaller boroughs, but uh, very hilly. I like hilly things. Not quite as mountainous as where Tracy, Tammy, and Kay live, but um, it's very hilly, as you'll see as we do a fly down through the town. It's a small town, a small borough, I should say, about 7,400. Rhonda's borough has about uh, 13,000 in it, and Brent's borough is the largest, uh, and it has about 31,000. Rhonda's borough is the seat of government. Brent's borough is the, street, the seat of business and culture and sports. And 
and my borough is the seat of science and research. So there's a lot of science and research that takes place here. And as we zoom over the little borough and we're coming up into my neighborhood, the camera will pan down and you'll see I live on a ledge. I love mountain living. And my neighborhood kind of resembles Rhonda's a little bit. Uh, condominiums and you know, medium-sized houses. And as we start zooming down into my neighborhood, you can see. And my house, uh, like I said, it's not very large, but I like, I like the shape of it a lot. Uh, it's kind of a Mediterranean kind of a style house with a little enclosed courtyard. As we zoom down, you get to see my little house. And my, I also I think I gave everyone a Tesla and a Jag, except Brent and Sharon, they have two Teslas. Two Teslas. But the rest of us have a Tesla and a Jag. So as we zoom up. Now, uh, from here, I'm going to show you, get an overview of the how far we live from each other. And I'll try to point these out as we go over them. So we're zooming up so you can get a bigger idea of the whole region. And we're going to zoom out so you, enough so that you can see what the area looks like in perspective. So I live on the far southeastern side. And as we go over here... And as we cross this lake over here, we see this suspension bridge. Uh, that's where Rhonda lives. Remember, I said she lives between the two lakes. So you can see the little area where the, the aquatic center is and those two green tennis courts. She lives right over there. And then she lives near the airport also. And as we fly, you can see the opera house again. And if you look down there where those yellow trees are by the canal, that's where Brent lives. And as we zoom, 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 zoom out, I should say zoom in, not zoom out. And we fly up to the mountain again, out to the country. And there we end with Tracy, Tammy, and Kay. So just wanted to share that little video with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. In time, I'll make one for all the uh, children. And then I'll work my way down to the grandchildren. But eventually, I'll have our whole family in there, too. And I will make one for Dee Dee, too. <laughs> Okay, talk to you later.